All right, so check this out. I want to show people an article whenever you're ready, Thursday. Uh, yeah, hold on. This is a true thing. This is something you could actually do. There's a name to this. It has a history, has a pedigree. You could drink only beer for Lent. And I'm Bam, not, I'm, we're good. I'm not joking. Check this out. Man commits to beer only fast for Lent, <laughs> loses 25 five pounds. I feel amazing. A Cincinnati man has taken an all or nothing approach to Lent, deciding to consume nothing but beer for the 46 days leading up to Easter. He's already lost 25 pounds from the fast and claims he feels amazing. <laughs> Delho, what a guy. If you know him, buy him a beer. I'll pay you back. Well, maybe not a beer. Maybe he's totally done with beer after last Lent. His decision is pretty convenient considering the fact that he happens to be director of sales at Ohio. You know what? Father Jason told me about this guy. He must know him. 50 West Brewing. He said in a YouTube video that slimming down was one motivation for his drastic decision. He had a starting weight of 292.5 pounds, which was the most he's weighed in six years. It was pretty rough to see, he said. But Hall actually took his beer fasting cue from an ancient tradition. There you go. That's, that's what I meant. Practiced by monks in the 17th century. Pauliner, is that how you say it? Monks moving from southern Italy to Bavaria in the 1600s lived by strict rules. And one of them was to banish all solid food during Lent. Side note, I once was staying with the Companions of the Cross in Ottawa. And an elderly priest, whose name I've forgotten, was going on a no solids Lent. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Much Somebody respect. in the live chat just said the beer thing sounds like the opposite of Lent. Do you want to explain why that is? Dude, listen. What do you want to do? Wake up. Imagine the first day would be fun. But the second day, morning, time for breakfast. Shh. I don't know if it would be fun after the third or fourth day. You also have to imagine that by the end of Lent, your tolerance is so good that you're never <laughs> drunk ever, ever again. again. Like you could never even be buzzed. <laughs> ever. <laughs> To be clear, we're not talking about drinking in immoderation, obviously. We're not talking about drunkenness. And we're not talking about drinking Kura's light. Like, you would die, I think. Like, yeah, well, that's not true. You could fast without food for at least 40 days. You'd be probably fine. But in order to get the kind of, what, the vitamins, the, the nutritional stuff you need, you'd want to be drinking stout. So anyway, let's keep reading. So 1,600 people did this, according to Catholic News Agency. Beer was a common staple during that time period, so the monks looked into it as a meal replacement. <laughs> I'd be so tired all day. Do you get tired when you have a drink? No. Yeah, I do. Someone offered me a drink at like three. I'm like, what are you talking about? I have to have a nap. Beer was a common staple during that period. They would they wound up developing unusually strong types of beer to serve their fasting needs. Salvatore, as they called it, was high in carbohydrates and nu nutrients. It was now known as Doppel uh, Doppel Doppelbock. Doppelbock, yeah. Hall, an army veteran, said the monk's practice fascinated him, and he wanted to see if he could push himself to the limits by replicating what these men once did. He also believes that in general, going without food is crucial from time to time. Fasting is a big part of being a human being, he said, after his eighth beer. I didn't say that. I made that up. Um, anyway, that's pretty cool. So you could do that. You could give up everything but beer. Look at that guy. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe or you're a dingus. What's a dingus exactly? Used to refer to something one cannot or does not wish to name specifically. <laughs> You don't have to subscribe, but if you did, I'd love it, you dingus. Like the video. <laughs> That's who we're using that one. Take one.